Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today in this quick video, I just want to show you how to achieve a nice, white, clean, sharp line underneath uh, coving. So, I'm starting to prep this room up a bit. I've, I've papered this little corner here where they've ripped something out. Um, so, I'm doing all my filling and I've noticed it's that polystyrene coving. Now, whoever decorated it before, if I can show you. Um, so if you look kind of like under there it's all all over the show it's like really wavy and stuff um you know because what he didn't do was cork a line under the coving so i've started it here look so look even just with cork it looks better already so wouldn't you rather see that than all this if you know what i mean i kind of go along it it, it would just look messy you know if i just painted that now i'll be like up and down and because this is like a textured paper anyway all you got to do is simply cork it okay clean it off and then uh once dry bring your paint line bring your ceiling line down to about here or something and then cut in your wall color up to it but you'll get a lovely straight line as i say rather than all this so um yeah but the rest of the room as you can see, I've corked it all underneath. Um, you know, I just want to show you what I'm trying to hold the bit more in there. And as I say, it doesn't really matter yet because it's all getting prepped and painted. So if I just smooth that off. Now I know all them little tiny gaps will be filled. And as I say, when I go to paint it, it'll be happy days it'll be a nice neat line and when they look up they're not going to see any paint on the actual coving if that makes sense so um yeah that that's my little tip for today um so always even any type of coving plaster coving whatever um even if it looks okay always cork little line of cork little bead of cork um and it will give you that perfect sort of finish underneath um so i will i'll probably show you actually once painted how it looks in the end and then you can see so um yeah the guy who ever did it before you know um yeah did, didn't think of this and it, it just looks a mess to me i hate looking up and seeing like wavy painting lines underneath absolutely a pet hate of mine so um yeah i'll show you actually once it's all decorated Right, so the next stage is once dry, you're painting your, you're, you're cutting in all your coving, you're painting your ceiling first. But as I say, when you're doing this, bring your line, bring your ceiling paint down onto the wall like that. Because when we go to do the wall colour, we're going to cut over that. So we're going to go over the white. It just gives you a nice sort of a blank canvas to cut your own nice neat line in under this coving. So that's roughly how you want it to look. Okay, um, and then I'm going to show you the cutting in wall to coving a bit later on. Right, so I've started to cut in the new colour. And as you can see, you've got a lovely line all the way along there. So, um, as I say, when it's like that and you've brought the white down it's dried, then we're going to go with, with our wall colour like this. So you go up to a certain height about there and just lightly drag it along. Don't press too hard. Lightly drag drag it along there okay and as I say go up again hold it there try and keep your wrist straight everything straight that's it so what I'm saying is when you look you're not going to get the horrible waviness on the underneath of this um, coving uh, length of coving so all the way around the room I'm going to do this now um, Go a bit slightly higher there. Just get that under there like that. Yeah, lovely. So, um, yeah, it will look like that. So that will be perfect. When this is too coated, you won't see any horrible, like, wavy lines now. As you look along under there, there won't be all that horrible waviness. So, um, yeah, I'll continue it and I'll show you the finished job. So there we go, folks. Just second coated all the walls. So as you look under there, nice smooth finish. Look around the room, how sharp it looks. 
really good finish really good finish um so just a simple thing of when you're prepping i, I think it doesn't matter what um coven it is if it's like in a new build whatever i always think you should put a bead of cork underneath because there's always going to be missing bits of adhesive stuff like that um but it just gives you that nice fresh look so when you're looking up None of it's hitting the coving, which, you know, before it just looked like life on the ocean waves, you know. Um, felt a bit seasick looking at it, but no, this is this is the way to go because it's just a pet hate of mine. And I know customers, you know, I've, it's been pointed out to me before when I've gone in a job to look and they've said, oh, is there anything you can do with that when it's been previously painted by someone else? So I know customers don't like it as well, but that's it um so yeah basically that that's the video today um so thanks for watching and uh please subscribe for more tips hints on paint and decorating thank you